Last week, the founder of Hancock Software, Lily Lee, went to San Diego to the NEUAC conference and presented a session on the Energy Assistance Program Design, took best practices from across the country. Key elements of the presentation were what are LIHEAP states and agencies facing today? What challenges? And what are the solutions to those challenges? You see, at Hancock Software, there are many states across the country that use Hancock Cloud for energy assistance and energy efficiency programs. During the presentation, a recap of what Lily discussed were the key elements that are important in any program design. Outreach, intake, qualification, payment management and vendor management, budget tracking, change history and security, and reporting. Lily then went to interview each of Hancock's customers about those segments and garnered what's important to them when they look for technology or when they use Hancock for their energy assistance solution. She started with an agency in California who said, the new generations are more comfortable with new technology. We should include new techniques for outreach alongside traditional methods. This agency is uh, using Hancock's mobile app. They are using online applications hosted by Hancock to manage their utility assistance program. Then Lily discussed more about program outreach. Even fuel funds can use Hancock's technologies to help run their programs across multiple partners. The fuel fund operation fuel said, after implementing client self intake, we were inundated with new applications for our utility funded fuel assistance program. And though we had, had doubled our funding from the previous year, we had to shut the program down in only four months. Beyond program outreach, Lily's presentation also included application intake. This can be in person, remote online, via a call center. It includes address verifications, comparing and copying prior applications, client status tracking, document tracking, and client collaboration. Another California agency in regards to intake thinks it's a benefit for clients to have different ways to apply, like phone, email, online, or in person. 25% of our applications come from online. Online apps provide a better success rate and more accurate data. Then Lily interviewed our customers about qualification. Client qualification requires data verification. You have to find a technology that calculates all the criteria, validates documents, of course calculates benefit amounts, displays reasons for disqualification, and qualifies against all programs simultaneously. Even a batch or mass qualification is useful too. In Rhode Island, the program manager says, as a program manager, I have the ability to create new funding sources on my own. This makes it very easy. It's really useful to create multiple funding sources, allocation, and rules behind my programs. Lily then went to interview Hancock's customers and talked more about the qualification. In Louisiana, the program manager in Louisiana said, when we received supplemental funding for LIHEAP during the pandemic, we calculated new benefit amounts and issued additional payment checks for existing clients in one day. So Lily discussed during the session what it takes to do that in one day. Well, it takes a technology system, again, that has calculates all the criteria, validation, and benefit calculations. Then, after client qualification, Lily interviewed Hancock's customers and asked them about managing payments. What is important in a technology solution to accurately manage and process payments? Well, you need a ready list, who, what clients are eligible for payments. You need payment processing, notifications, check and electronic payment systems, pre and post fuel payments, tracking and reconciliation, and you need to eliminate the possibility of any payment error. Energy Outreach in Colorado says, it used to take me out the whole day, once a week to process payments if there were no issues. Now it's within an hour. For the accounting department, it used to take four to five hours. Now it's about 30 minutes. Hancock's customers in other extend payment 
management uh, to the following. Our agencies process the checks. So it's really helpful to see when checks are mailed because we make sure the agencies are actually sending the checks out in a timely manner. So no matter, no matter you do payment processing via check, electronic, payment notification, or you send your data to another system to payment process, Hancock's customers have efficiently processed payments. Then, Lily interviewed another Hancock customer from the state of Maine. The program manager there notes that they had more than 300 fuel vendors, including propane, wood, and oil, as well as large electric and gas utilities. Having the payments run entirely through the system helped ensure accuracy and efficiency. Within Hancock's vendor management solution, you can have territory management, pricing, you have the fuel usage data for LIHEAP performance tracking, you also have vendor payment management and delivery tracking. Now it's important to track your budget when you run a bill pay or energy assistance program. An organization in Colorado said, we can give subgrantees control of programs and still maintain real-time view of program cost and budget status. We will reallocate funding from non-performing to better performing agencies on the fly. So the Hancock system enables him to do that by controlling budgets for each subgrantee, managing contracts, subgrantee invoicing, program control, and communication with the subgrantee. Lily's presentation then talked about cybersecurity and maintaining a change history. In Connecticut, they, our customer, they said, keeping data to track and monitor our weatherization program and spreadsheets was no longer going to be permitted by our state's IT office. We needed a modern, secure platform to meet our security obligations. This means modern SaaS hosting, full data encryption, password policy management, and so on. Finally, we all are concerned about reporting accurately. In Kentucky, a program manager there said, reporting in Hancock software has definitely been a game changer for us. We now have a report where a monitor can filter criteria for jobs they want to review instead of searching one by one. So we have the LIHE performance measure report, the DHHS household report. You can export data and create your own report. Finally, alongside reporting, a community action agency in Maryland said, Hancock Software has made it easy for me to leverage DOE, state and utility funding, and maintain compliance for each one of them. I don't know what we would do without Hancock. It would be very difficult to do. Then Lily showed the, our software to her, the attendees at the session in NEUAC. She highlighted universal client intake meaning that you can go in as a program administrator and configure an online application. Also highlighted are multiple funding sources running supplemental programs along with your regular LIHEAP program or maybe a fuel state funded program. You can run different qualification rules all in the same platform. Finally, you have an easy view of vendor and client payment views. And for reporting, you can configure and create and edit our reports or create your own through exporting the data. Our solution overview includes all the people in an energy program, the staff, the community action agencies, and the program administrators. If you have any questions about the NEUAC presentation, please feel free to contact Hancock or Lily, the presenter. Lily's email is lily at hancocksoftware.com.